In my previous video, I said I was going to do an MCP server where we can actually use the OpenAI API. Uh, I went ahead, I created this server, so now we can actually interact with both OpenAI 01 and the Claude 3.5, so they can kind of collaborate on a task, so I'm going to show you that soon. So I set up like a small repo here where you can find the code if you just want to test it out yourself. Uh, it's going to be in the description below. Uh, but let's just get into it. So uh, I created another Flux server too, so we can do some image generation. I'm going to show you that at the end here. Uh, if we head over to Cursor now, you can see that we have like an OpenAI server here, right? So I'm just going to show you how this works now. Uh, so if we go to our Claude desktop config.json here, you can see I have set up these MPC servers, or MCP servers, with the GitHub access. We have the OpenAI and we have the file system. So what I wanted to try out was actually use Claude 3.5 to combine, write some code using O1 and Claude 3.5 and actually save that to our file system and use the GitHub uh, MCP to actually upload this to our GitHub. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that now. So when we open up the Claude desktop app now, okay, you can see we have 13 or 22 different MCP tools. That's gonna be the OpenAI server, right? Chat completion, as you can see here, we have all the GitHub and we have the file system tools. So the example prompt I wanted to use was just work together with OpenAI to write an advanced code to solve the river problem. This is where the guy has to take some animals over a river, river, river in a canoe you know the problem. So when we run this now, you can see that we are starting this by calling up OpenAI. So we're gonna specify the requirements to OpenAI. We get a, you wanna run the chat completion? Yes, I do. And we write the prompt. So here is the prompt, right? Crossing a river puzzle. And now we are actually requesting a response from the OpenAI 01 model. So this is gonna take a bit of time. I'm probably gonna fast forward this for you, but you can clearly see we are sending this request to the OpenAI API and we want a response. And then I kind of want Claude 3.5 to also look at this and then write a Python code from this. Okay, so you can see, let me analyze OpenAI solution and enhance it with some improvements. I'll create a new artifact with an enhanced version. So here we get the enhanced river crossing puzzle implementation. That is kind of combining the response from the O1 model with Claude's suggestions. So we kind of do like a cooperative Python code here to kind of solve the river problem. And the next step is gonna be to save this file to my system and then we're gonna to try to push it to GitHub to create a new repo for it. This solution challenge saying, okay, I'm not gonna check this. We're gonna try to run it at the end. Uh, I'm just gonna follow up with, uh, so I'm just gonna follow up with great, save this code to my system. Uh, and I kind of put this folder up uh, at the back here so you can kind of see if this code is being saved to my file here. Uh, yeah, it's looking up the path I wanted to use and it's rewriting the code here. And hopefully now this will be saved as a Python fold a file in our folder here or directory. Okay, there we have it. You can see rivercrossing.py. If we go in here now, boom, we got it. So our code was saved to our system. How many lines was it? 235 lines. Uh, I think before we test this now, uh, I wanna try to create a repo for this and move this over to GitHub. So let's just do a good job. I also want a GitHub repo for this code, include a well-instructed readme.md file. Uh, we can close this artifact now and let's see now, it's gonna try to create a repo, right? Okay, so you can see we are writing the readme file here. That looks good. So I refresh this. You can see we have a river crossing puzzle repo with the readme file. I think we need the code now. We don't have that yet. So hopefully that's gonna be next. Okay, it looks like it's writing the code. Hopefully we can push this to our repo and that, that should be pretty much it if you ask me. Okay, so let's refresh this. Okay, we got the rivercrossing.py in our repo. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's try to grab this code now and actually test it to see if it works. Okay, so let's run this now. So here you can see it's our game we have 11 commands so we can move hint solve status history so we can start by let's start moving the we can do move uh let's do goose 
Okay, so we move the goose over to the other side of the bank. That works. So we can do status. What does that mean? Okay, so that just shows the state. Uh, we can do a hint for the next move. Hint, try moving farmer to the left bank. Farmer. Okay, so we did do that. Uh, I want to see the simulation, so let's just restart this. So I want to see if we can solve this, so I'm just going to do solve. And hopefully this is going to do this autonomously. Yeah, you can see. Now it's using the alg algorithm from the code to actually fix this. So we ended up with... So we started here on the left bank, right? And we ended up on step seven with everyone on the right bank. Yeah, I guess that works. That was pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I guess the conclusion has to be that working with OpenAI to write this, it seemed to work pretty good. So it's pretty cool that we can actually use this MPC server from OpenAI API to kind of collaborate with Claude 3.5. I just found that very interesting. And it's gonna be cool to explore this more. Uh, but before this, we end this video, I also want to show you how we can run this image generator from Flux. Uh, I think that's the one that's on Grok. So we can run this image generator here in our Claude desktop app. And to run this image model, we're just going to go back here. We're going to grab this, right? The Flux MCP server. And let's go back to our desktop JSON. Uh, I'm just going to grab my replicate API token. So I'm running this flux model from my replicate API. So I'm just going to grab my token, paste it in here. Then I'm gonna, just going to restart the desktop server. Okay. So you can see we have one available MCP tool. That's going to be a generate an image using the flux model. So let me just do an image. I'll just do a prompt here where we can ask for an image. So I'm just going to do, I need a 916 image of a cat walking in the streets of New York, realistic, high saturation. So hopefully now this is just going to call upon the flux model, right? So we're going to allow this. Here you can see it wrote the prompt, 19, 916 vertical composition. Okay, so what did it work? Let me see. Uh, yeah, so if we open this up now. We have a cat here walking, right? And we can grab the URL down here, right? So that's pretty cool. So now we are actually running the Flux model inside of the Claude desktop app. So we're kind of adding like an image generator on top of that. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but the one more thing we can do is actually combine this with different tools. So now I'm going to add a YouTube server. So we actually could search up a YouTube video and ask it to combine it. Let's say you want to create a image or a thumbnail for this video. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So now we just added a second server that is just called YouTube transcript and this helps us search up a URL to find the transcript of the YouTube video and then we can just use that again to prompt our flux model to create a thumbnail for that video. So let me show you how we can do this. Again, we just need to restart our desktop app just to get the latest settings. Let's open the Claude app. Uh, and you can see now we have two tools, the get trans transcript tool and the generate image tool. Uh, let me grab a yeah, YouTube video URL. So I just took a URL from my videos and let me do like a prompt here. So let's just do, I need a thumbnail image that fits the following YouTube video. I just do my URL. Also write a short LinkedIn post for me about this video and an image I can attach. So hopefully now these two tools will collaborate. So you can see the first thing it's going to do is going to check this uh, the YouTube video from me and grab the transcript. And now it's going to generate a thumbnail for the YouTube video. And for the LinkedIn, it's going to business focused video. So you can see the video is about AI automation and coding. And here we have the prompt AI agent system. Yeah, that looks good. Here is the LinkedIn post. So if you looked at the LinkedIn image, you can see we get this. Yeah, that was pretty boring, but it is working, right? Uh, and the LinkedIn post, yeah, pretty boring if you ask me. But it did work, and it actually took the transcript from the YouTube video, used that to prompt the image model, and it used that to write the LinkedIn post. So it's very generic and not so good, but it does work, right? And that is what I wanted to check. Uh, but I see this image did not pop up. So let's ask for a YouTube thumbnail again. Okay, so you can see now we got it. Yeah, 
pretty boring. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend using this, but it's fine to combine all these tools and kind of explore what we can do. So this video was maybe not the longest, but I just wanted to showcase that we can actually start using these MCP servers now with Anthropic Cloud Desktop API, trying combining with the using the OpenAI O1 model. Uh, I did a few more tests and it works pretty good. Uh, in, in this video, we didn't really look into all the capabilities capabilities we can do with this but uh, I'm gonna cover that in the future so don't worry about that uh, if you want to check out the code for these servers just follow the link in the description uh, I have the OpenAI server code up here uh, this is in TypeScript uh, but it works pretty good and it should not it's not a lot of lines the only thing we have to do was to remove all the system messages and stuff because if we want to use the O1 model, but you can switch this to a GPT-40 if you want to do that. So you can find that. Uh, I also added the Flux server code if you want to check check that out. Uh, but this is based on that you have a replicate API. Uh, so yeah, that's the something you need if you want to try this out. But you can find those in the link in the description below. So yeah, go ahead, check it out, explore more with MPC, MCP servers. Uh, I've been having tons of fun playing around with this and we're gonna try to build something that's pretty cool with it soon, I think. Uh, I had some ideas maybe, wanna, wanna try it out. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna talk about that now. That's gonna be for a future video. But yeah, hope you found this interesting. Hope you enjoyed it and go test it out. Link in the description. Like the video if you thought it was cool and I'll see you again in a few days.